Yeah, we'll get you to sign them then too, mate. <laughs> None and three, mate. We need to your final two matches. Where does it put you as far as preparation? Oh, look, I think the preparation's been really well. I mean, finally, I think the boys are just starting to come as a team. I think they showed the um, team spirit tonight, even though the score got over 30 for us again. But I think 10-0 um, or thereabouts at half-time, I think, was where we... Well, I wasn't too uh, upset with that, but, yeah. Um, but, no, I think the 15s has always been a work in progress. Yeah. Uh, trying to get a group of kids together that um, from such a wide region and not a lot of football background either. So, can, you, yeah. can you talk a little bit about the selection process um, leading into, you know, with an eye on next year as well? Yeah, look, I think the thing for us with the 15s is we need to throw the net a bit wider, I think, to try and make sure we do get all the individual talent. Um, we might have been just a little bit restricted to bush rangers and... Um, and even the Mustard Boys, but there's got to be other kids out there in the Wide Bay area, you know, Mackay, even CH who we haven't actually seen. Yep. Um, and you can just see the difference with the 17s where they've picked up two or three boys outside of that normal, and, um, and you can see like the 17s have been really competitive. So you've got a young side. Yep. And is it, is it part of your plan for next year? Look, I think so. Well, look, <laughs> oh, look, I think it would be really good because we've got seven boys in that side who yeah. are still be in under 15s next year, so that would be certainly Which more is great for 20, 2015. Oh, certainly for 2015. I mean, having seven kids who have been through here and, and hopefully they'll become the leaders next week. We've got a good young half, I think, who, you know, has struggled a bit this year with the old rage work on over the next few days in preparation for um, Sunday's fixture. Oh, look, it's certainly um, all security is going to be a major problem. Um, yeah, uh, we, we have too many soft turnovers and, yep. and that's really hurt us. Um, but we're really competitive for, probably in that game, we're probably competitive for 40 minutes probably, I would have thought. And then for 20 minutes, you know, a soft try with their scrum half would move on his part to score the try. So we really need to tighten up and make sure, you know, when we have the ball, we actually control that. Yep. Um, and that's hard for kids 215s. We're finding, you know, sometimes they get enthusiastic or just go too far. And, but that part of the game, I think, today has really um, stepped up. I thought the Brisbane Gold side was, um, yeah, it was, it was a reasonable standard. Well, they had a big forward pack. I think our boys um, shoulder that responsibility fairly well. But no, ball, ball control is our line out's not working yet well. And they threw a few balls and line outs I've never seen before. So um, one throw to the back, I. I'm not sure where that, that came from. That's that was a newbie. newbie. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, look, I, I think just ball control. We just, you know, our scrum for the first time not was probably under a bit more pressure than the last few yeah. games, so we haven't done any work there. Um, yeah, so yeah, just maintaining that time of possession. I think from that tonight, I think when we had possession, we were, you know, we were able to do stuff with it. So it, with, with this type of side mm. and, and seeing the performance tonight, and, and obviously the, the last two games, yep. how, how do you change your match plan? in preparation for this next week. Do you stick with what you've done over the last few games or do you, do you change it now that you've had a good look uh, under competition for them? Uh, no, look, I think for the boys, I think we're not going to change too much because we're just trying to get them to play a pattern. You know, they've just got to get into a pattern. If we change it now, it's just going to throw them off again. So I think finally after three games, I think they are starting to come as a team. I mean... I know you watched the game, but I was really pleased they were trying to run some phases off the nines and yeah. um, probably not real effectively all the time, but they were really having a go. We maintained possession for periods. Um, so I think that part's coming. So we just need to just try and work on and maintaining that. So too. as far as main concerns, your main priorities leading to this week, mm -hmm. um, you know, from, from the outside looking in, yep. we don't seem to be making a lot of impact, particularly through the middle third of the field. Mm. Which negates sort of yeah, the variation in attack, yep. uh, the points of attack where you can actually play football from. Yep. So what are we going to do there? What's the, what's the options available? Look, <laughs> probably limited really at this stage. I just don't think we have um, the um, the hunters in the side of our pack right at this stage to um, maintain that. So like I said, the side we probably are struggling. Look, we're a fairly good defensive unit, yeah. but we, we haven't got a real... 
you know, real, I suppose, an attacking option, I guess, from our forwards. Yeah. Uh, so it is, and that's probably weakness in the side, but that's what we've got. So yeah. that's why we've got to be really tight in our line out, our scrum, and basically our set piece because you know, I don't. Yeah, we, we haven't got the. I don't think we've got luxury like the 17 Sab where they've got some really, you know, hard chases in the back row, and and yeah, you can see that tonight. I mean. Well, we had very little, you know, minimal possession in the 17 yet. I think the back row really kept us in the game in terms of um, slowing down opposition ball. So we don't stand, quite have that. You know. So standouts on tonight's performance? Oh, look, I think Jake, it's um, it played eight and only the second row. We, well, we have been rotating our boys, so I thought he stood up and really worked really oh, hard. I, I think a couple of the under-13s, um, the second row, um, Jack Kearns played very well, yep. I thought. Um, like he's got a lot of potential, I'm sure he's still growing. So, you know, next year maybe he'll be another four inches or <laughs> so yeah. taller, and you know he'll be the legitimate second rower in his own right. Best um, on field. Yeah. Look, I really thought we had a young fella playing fullback tonight, the Ti boy. Um, you know, his, sec his second game, and look for the amount of balls he can get. So he actually, well, his kicking wasn't, you know. I suppose your class is some textbook stuff, but yeah. he put it into his face and Definitely. he chased and he cleaned out. So probably, um, yeah, in terms of those sort of opportunities, uh, we, well, we've clicked in the side for his speed, but we haven't really had a chance to see that. Uh, but no, probably he'd go close to, um, in terms of improvement, he certainly yeah. would be um, close to best on field. But in saying that, I think there's a lot of effort put in by everybody. I know young Max Marshall, when he went on, just tackled himself into the ground yeah. and, you know, didn't give us a lot in attack, but um, yeah, so look, I think that was the part we were pleased about. I think the boys really stood up, and yeah, well, I think against North Coast, I think, I think after a few tries on us, they sort of decided they didn't really want to play anymore. But, yeah. So, no, that was good tonight. Yeah, um, yeah and obviously, our young halves, I mean, they, yeah, that's an area we need to work on for next year. But, um, but that's that's what we're going, got to get those nets out there and yeah. see who's around. Yeah. But, no, look, I'm pleased with them. And look, we can um, be nice to win at home, but um, and look, we can maintain our ball and, and play with the patterns we're starting to get. I think, um, who knows? Um, you know, get them straight off the aeroplane on the field against us, and uh, yeah, the ball might just go away. Because we've got a really good back line, which we haven't really seen run yet either. So, uh, but I think it's one of those competitions where, like, the opposition they've really only scored from turnover ball and yeah. not necessarily from set piece. So I think. Maybe, you know, we haven't spent enough time, or the boys haven't been together long enough to work on counter-attack yeah. from turnover. Um, probably a little bit pedestrian like that. Yeah. But, um, all right. Ron Howe, all yeah. the best in the team. Thank you very much.